Hey, what is going on guys? It's Apollo1 and today we have a pretty sweet gameplay for you guys But before I get any further into it real quick I just want to say that in this video you're going to be hearing a kind of a story I'm gonna be telling a story for the commentary topic and it won't be me just talking about nothing for six or seven minutes So this is probably the first time I've told like a, a life story uh, Since the end of black ops 2 it's been a long time So I'm gonna try to get back into doing commentaries about some interesting stories and stuff like that So anyways the gameplay you are watching is a double assault chem strike now if you guys don't know what a double assault chem strike is is basically you get the chem strikes while using the assault package it's very simple um, you don't have specialists or support on, you're using your assault kill streaks, and you happen to get a double chem strike. Now, the reason why that is so difficult and extremely impressive is because the, you know, you're not using specialists that doesn't help you with, like, getting kills with your gun. It doesn't turn you into a super soldier like specialist does. Um, and then support, you know, support, you have your ballistic vest, you have your oracles, you have your satcoms, things that help you out f and find where your enemies are and protect you against your enemies. And uh, that's what support is used for. It helps you still for those gun kills because it helps you find your enemy and uh, stay alive a little bit longer. Now with assault, it literally does nothing. It, it does nothing except for help you get more kills that don't count towards your chem strike. So he's kind of getting Carnage Chaos, oh, new name, but um, he's kind of getting kills with his gun, obviously, to get his assault kill streaks, and he gets kills with his assault kill streaks and just keeps going to get more kills, and that's just eventually how he gets those chem strikes. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's more impressive, in my opinion, because he doesn't have anything helping him directly getting those gun kills. It's just kind of, he just kind of gets the chem strikes as he plays as he gets more and more kills so that's basically what a double assault chem strike is we haven't posted one yet this is the first one on the carnage clan channel so i definitely feel that it should uh get a lot of support hopefully you guys will support it and enjoy it um but the player that got this gameplay is actually a brand new member to the carnage clan channel so right here his av avi will be coming up on screen his brand new carnage avi because he's a new member to the team his name is Carnage Chaos, or I Am Peaceful Chaos, and he's an absolute monster, just period. He's a tank. He has, you know, gameplays in Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, he has Black Ops 2 gameplays, and then obviously Call of Duty Ghost gameplays, all that are high standard gameplays. You guys, I guarantee will enjoy them. Um, as well as on his channel, he does a lot of, or he does some tips and tricks sometimes. He also has some class setup videos. He's going to be doing a lot of new series that are going to be coming out here soon. He has, um, a lot of, I think he has some live comms as well. But I know for a fact he's going to be doing some really, really interesting, uh, chem strike gameplays. He's going to be doing something where, I think you guys will like it. I'm not going to actually spoil it because I don't know if he's announced it yet on Twitter or anything, but it's really, really unique. It's a lot of fun, and it will allow, I think, some interaction with you guys. So I think you guarantee, I, I can almost guarantee you'll enjoy his channel. So please, guys, go and show him the carnage love and support that you guys always do on this video, as well as whenever a new member joins the Carnage Clan channel. Please go over there and show him that love and show him that support and uh, check out his content in his channel. So today, I'm going to be telling a little bit of a story real fast. It's not too long. So, I don't know if you guys are aware of or you know, have these around you, but there's these things called Haunted Forests or um, uh, Field of Screams is another name for it. That's a company. Um, but they, basically what it is, is a, it's a walk that goes through the woods, and it's held around Halloween time, obviously. And uh, they're kind of like, you know, scary walks. You have people jumping out at you. It's it's Halloween based and it's it's really fun to do with like a whole bunch of friends or if you have like, you know, take your girlfriend there or something that works. Um, so basically I had gone with a whole bunch with a huge group freshman year of high school and we had gone and we went through the walk and everything and we had come out after the walk and this was like my third time going this year. I really had a lot of fun going with groups and stuff. But that, that was my third time, I think, that year. And um, we had come out to the parking lot, and there was like a... Oh, God, I don't know what to call it. They, they're they kind of used for like construction to block off. You kind of set up, not a cone, but like they're, they're like... Uh, it almost looks like those things that in track, I don't even know what they're called. I don't run 
track, but um, they're basically those things that you jump over and track. Um, so, the, the, but these weren't that. It was used for construction, and um, I'll, I'll put a picture on the screen so you guys know what I'm talking about. But basically, there was one of these things just sitting there in the middle of the like not street of the parking lot, but there was like part of this parking lot that went off to the side, and there was no cars there, and a whole bunch of people were hanging out, probably like a hundred people, and um, we had walked over there. And there was one of these things just sitting there in the middle of everyone. So I think like two or three of my friends had gone up to it and tried jumping over it or wanted to jump over it. No nobody had done it already, but they were like standing there like, oh, yeah, I'm going to try to jump over it. And I was actually on the phone with like, I think a girl or something. Yeah, it was a girl. And because it gets part of the story here in a second. And uh, they were, um, you know, thinking of whether or not they should jump over it or not. So... Being a cocky freshman, I had, you know, on the phone with the girl, of course, and a whole bunch of people standing around and everything. I had walked over to this thing on the phone and attempted to jump over it. This is not going to end well, you can probably tell. So I had gone right up to it. I'm, like I said, I'm on the phone, like, distracted, not even, like, preparing or anything. And I just tried, to st I go right up to it, too. I didn't run or do anything. I just went right up to it. And I knew I could jump high. I knew I was capable of jumping over this, but not in these circumstances, not standing right in front of it on the phone. Um, and I don't know what I was thinking, but I attempted to jump over it, and I thought I had made it. I thought I cleared, my feet had cleared the top of the um, little, I don't know what to call it, like barrier. And the tip of my left foot had caught the top, and I fell face flat on the ground, hit my arm, like slammed down on my arm, my face and everything. And I just laid there and I would just remember it like the phone, like flying across the street and uh, me just laying there in pain. I was so embarrassed. Literally a hundred people were like freaking out that I had just smashed my face into the concrete. <laughs> and I remember just getting up and acting like everything was okay. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Like, laughing and stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Like, at the same time, I wanted to cry. My face hurt. And my arm thought... I thought I literally thought my arm was broken. It hurt so bad. Later to find out, I think it was, like, fractured. It was a long time ago. Um, but it was definitely bruised. Actually, no, I don't think it was fractured. It was just severely, severely bruised. And I had to, like, keep it in, like, a certain position when I slept and everything. It was bad. Um, and it was painful, so don't do that, guys. Make sure not to do stupid things it's like that. Uh, you know when you're a freshman, you can don't make good end. decisions. But anyways, guys, that's been my time. Make sure to go check out I'm Carnage trying. Chaos, and it will get 500 likes on uh, this video. Though. I am the Leviathan. Commentary. This starts with a violent it's end. It's probably the first time I told a story. Like, it's Clash months. of the Titans, then. So, uh, it's got a collapse, and I'm relaxed. Anyways, guys, it's been Apollo 1, and I will see you guys later.